two data sets of 23 integers are summarized in the histogram shown. For each of the histograms, the first interval represents the frequency of integers greater than or equal to 10, but less than or equal to 20. So if we look at histogram B right here, on this first stretch of the x-axis from 10 to 20, the bar that sits here includes 10, but does not include 20. Right? It says greater than or equal to 10, but less than 20. The next interval represents the frequency of integers greater than or equal to 20, but less than 30. So on this stretch of the x-axis, the bar that sits here, we include 20, but we do not include 30. So on this stretch, the lowest value that could be represented in data set B for the four values that fall on this bar would be as small as 20 and as high as 29. That works across the remaining intervals as well. What is the smallest possible difference between the mean of data set A and the mean of data set B? So I just glanced at the two histograms and I realized that because data set A has nine values, somewhere between 50 and 59, and data set B doesn't have any values between 50 and 59, I know that the mean of data set A is going to be bigger than the mean of data set B. So to find the smallest possible difference between the two means, I was going to try to figure out what the smallest possible mean for data set A is, and I'm also going to figure out what the maximum possible mean for data set B is. Right? That would give us the smallest possible difference between the two. So this is not likely to be the case, but it is an extreme case based on the presentation of this information. On this stretch of the x-axis for data set A, the smallest value would be 20 that's included on this stretch. So if I assume that all three of the values from data set A that fell on this stretch of the x-axis were 20, that would be the extreme case for that portion of the histogram for data set A. I would have three values of 20 in that. I would have four at the low end for this next bar, so four values of 30. I would have seven values of 40, and I would have nine values of 50. The total of all those values divided by the 23 values in the data set gives me a lowest possible mean for data set A of 39.56. Now, if I think about the maximum possible mean for data set B, on this stretch of the x-axis, if I assume that every value from data set B on this stretch of the x-axis was the biggest possible value it could have been, keep in mind, this goes from 10 to 19. 20 is not included. So if I assume that all three of those values on that smallest stretch of the x-axis for data set B are 19s, I would have three 19s in the list. Similarly, I would have four 29s. I would have seven 39s, and I would have nine 49s. Adding all those values up, dividing by 23 to compute the mean gives me 38.56. So the smallest possible mean for data set A is one larger than the biggest possible mean for data set B. So the smallest possible difference between the means is one.